Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem two strings. Given two strings, determine if they share a common substring. A substring may be as small as one character. For example, the words A and R share the common substring A. The words B and the cat do not share a substring. So if any character present in the second string means it is a common substring. So we need to return yes if the string is present or no if the string is not present. So we can use the set operation to get the unique elements from both the strings and find the intersection to check whether it has a common substring at least with a single letter. So that's the whole logic. It is very easy problem. Let's see the constraints. Here p can go up to 10 and the string length can go up to 10 to the power of i. Here also you don't need to use any brute force solution. We can do it in a linear time. Let's see some of the examples. So we have two test cases, hello and the world. We have the common letter as o. So we need to return yes. Hi and world. We don't have any common letter in between the two strings. So we need to return no. That's the whole logic of the program. It is very easy to do. Now let's solve the problem. Now we need to create a set operation and find the intersection. If set of S1 and this ampersand represents the intersection for the set operation. So set of S2 if both have some intersection means we need to return yes or else we need to return no this is the whole logic of the program see we have done it in four lines you can also done it in a single line using a one liner solution so both the one line solution and the four line solution is all the same we are going to do the set operation and find the intersection if it has a common element means we need to return yes or else we are returning no. Okay, let's run the code. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we solved the problem. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. Stay tuned for the next video.